This is your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Listen, guys, I have a very good topic right now. And is, you know, I think every developer, every junior developer that's learning on their own should make a YouTube channel. And you're probably thinking like, wait, Joe, why would they make a, a YouTube channel? Why would they record themselves and put themselves out there? Well, I think it's very important. You know, a lot of people find you because of social media or websites like this. You know, like for me, a lot of people hit me up. I have a lot of companies that hit me up and even people that just, you know, randomly hit me up and be like, hey, we found your channel. We found your, you know, your Twitter, your Twitter. We found your Instagram, et cetera. Right. And they hit me up all the time. Like, oh, are you looking for a job? Are you doing this and that? Or uh, would you like to do some contract work? Would you like to do some freelancing? You know, most of the time I just be like, hey, man, I don't even have time for that right now. But thank you for the offer. But for you guys as junior developers, I think is really good because it gets you exposure. It really gets you out there. And not only that, that you get to learn a lot. You know, sometimes people are very hard uh, on YouTubers. Right. So like, let's say an example you are a beginner right and you create a tutorial for javascript right sometimes you might not have all the best practices or whatever is the latest thing out there right because you're a beginner right but it's still good for you to actually put your your code out there and the things that you know one because you could look back on it and be like oh man wow look at the difference the growth of me from back then to now all the things that i know Right. I wish I would have done that from the beginning. If I would have known, you know, I would have been coding and, and just pretty much keeping track of everything I did for the past uh, five, six years. All right. So that's one reason. Another reason is like, let's say you create a tutorial. Creating a tutorial forces you to actually go in and really know everything about whatever subject you are talking about. You can't just be like, hey, I'm just going to come in and just freestyle it and try to uh, figure it out without no idea of what you're doing. Right. So this is great for those of you that want to learn something like let's say some one of you guys want to learn ES6 really well. Right. You can come in, look at the documentation of ES6, practice it a couple of times and then make a video about it. Make a video about the things that you learned, the things that. You actually, um, you know, the things that you found that was difficult, the things that you found that were easy and pretty much it will help you to remember all those things. And not only that, it will help other people who are just starting to learn that that topic that you basically created, for example, ES6. All right. So I think is a, a very good platform for developers to come in and just record what they do. You know, keep track of everything like GitHub is great at that, too, because you could actually create a project and go back into it and be like, oh, wow, man, I did this project in 2013. Now it's 2019. Right. For example, and you could just go back and be like, oh, wow, look what I was working on uh, a, a stupid <laughs> to do app. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you look back on it and you realize, like, man, there's a lot of growth. You know what I mean? So definitely i would advise people to try to you know get out there man like don't be scared you know like i was thinking about creating a youtube channel years ago man i've been doing this since 2007 2006 i've been on youtube right and the reason why i didn't want to do it was because i was gonna be judged by you know the smartest people out there and be like oh man Maybe they're going to make fun of me. Maybe they're going to be like, oh, he don't know anything. Maybe he, they're going to be like, oh, this, this and that. Like if I make a mistake, they're going to be like, oh, my God, this kid is so dumb, whatever. And when I think about it, I'm like, man, that was so dumb. Like who cares what anybody thinks? You know what I mean? Like who cares about what anybody's going to say about you out there in the comments or on the world? Like who cares about that, man? Like I'm just documenting my life as a developer. You know what I mean? Or I'm documenting the things that I'm learning as a developer. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers out here who, if you look at their videos, the first few videos were horrible, right? 
But with time, it gets better and better and better. And you actually see how good they get with coding with time. And it just happens. That's how it is. Like, this is one of those things that is just like basketball, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't practice, you're not going to get good. All right. So when you create a tutorial, when you create even the simplest things out there, not only are you helping yourself, but you're also helping other people, you know, because you're making a video which is going to reinforce the things that you already know. And then at the same time, you're helping other people that they haven't found the answer for something. You know what I mean? So I would definitely advise people like create a channel. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be just your name. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be like a specific topic. Just share a video. You know, you're working on something, share it. You are learning something, share it. You know, save it. Even if you put it on private, right? Even if you put it on private after a while, you'll be like, oh man, I'm not happy with this video. And you put it on private. Don't delete it. Keep it. Put it, just put it private for yourself, just for you to be able to watch it. So you could go back into time and be like, man, look at the growth, man. Look at the improvements that I've done excuse me over the, the past few years so i would definitely um check that out man like check youtube out man give it a chance you know don't let nobody uh swindle you to not do it like it's fun man youtube is definitely fun you know uh, and the reason why i was saying this is because i'm making this uh project for for the simple blog which is just a crud for Laravel, but I'm explaining everything about Laravel uh, for the people that have my PHP course, right? And I'm building this other project, like we did it through uh, plain uh, PHP, and now we're doing it with uh, Laravel as just a crud, right? We're not doing nothing complicated, we're just a simple crud. But going back into all those things that I learned years ago, and now explaining it to other people's i'm like reinforcing it again like there's things that not that i forgot but there's things that you don't use every single day like you use it on special occasions but you still got to explain it to people so it's like now i'm like okay this is something that i don't need to know every single day i don't use every day but now explaining it to others i'm like oh yeah like there's a good case for this for a certain situation right and it just reminded me i'm like man People should do this, like, you know, because this, uh, there's a lot of times that, you know, you're building stuff, and like, let's say right now, I haven't touched Ruby on Rails in probably like a good year and a half. I haven't touched Ruby on Rails at all. This Rails 5, I don't know all the new things that Rails 5 has, right? The last one that I was using was Rails 4 something. But now I'm like, man, I should go back to Ruby on Rails because probably there's things that I must have forgot because I haven't put it to practice. You know, when you create tutorials and you create videos online, like, you know, you don't have to put your face out there. You could do it like traversing media. I'm pretty sure like one of the, the best things that he has going for him is the fact that he gets to learn and encode new things every single day because he's doing these things on YouTube. Right. And I feel like he got to be like super knowledgeable by now because of all the things that he has to learn every single day and go through documentation, create, uh, you know, uh, crash courses and doing all this stuff. Like it's like you reinforce it, you know, so you don't forget it. You know, think about it like this. It's like, hey, if you know how to ride a bike, but you never uh, ride the bike again, the next time you get on it, you probably know how to get on it. But. You're going to be like going from side to side because you don't really know how to balance yourself. But with this, with coding, if you come in and you practice every single day and then on top of that, you're explaining it to other people and passing the knowledge down to other people. Like it doesn't even have to be YouTube. You could literally do this for a friend of yours. A friend of yours is interested in it. Sit down with him. Be like, hey, man, let's go over this. Let me teach you how to do this. Like, let me teach you the basics. And then not only are you helping him, you're helping yourself to get to reinforce all the things that you already learned. All right. So I was just creating this video because I saw this. And I was like, man, I felt this at this moment. I was like, man, this is pretty cool. Like, 
I'm very privileged to be doing this right now. And it's thanks to you guys. Because I'm like, man, I'm creating this course about Laravel. I'm also reinforcing all the things that I already know. And it's like I'm using this as a reminder. And I'm having fun with it. You know what I mean? So definitely, man, check it out, man. Give yourself the opportunity to keep on learning, man. And open up a YouTube. Open up a Twitch. Open up a... I don't know, whatever account, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like record yourself, put it out there or uh, share it with a friend. And that's it, man. All right, guys. If you don't know about this, man, check out my website, man, codingphase.com. Man, listen, I have the best courses out there right now. Literally, all my courses is, you know, they're in the top of Udemy. We definitely got over 10,000 uh, students between this website and Udemy. Uh, we're pretty hot right now, man. If we was to be, you know, we hot in the streets right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we're very hot right now, man. You get, you know, if you sign up to my website for a subscription, you could buy a course if you want to. You know, you automatically, when you use the uh, link on my description, you get 50% off of everything. Doesn't matter how much it is, it's 50% off because you use the link. But if you say, hey, I want to sign up for the get all access pass you use the link below and you get access to every single course for a month for just ten dollars all right and then from there it just renews again and you could continue that subscription until you finish everything like this is great for people who are just getting started in this and like let's say for example you're a new developer you like you don't even know if you're sure you know I, i've had people hit me up and they subscribe to the subscription and then they're like man they you know because they're like oh i want to do coding this good jobs this this and that but they don't want to go out and spend you know 50 100 dollars 200 dollars 500 dollars on a course or whatever it is because they're not even sure if they want to be doing this you know what i mean like this is a great place for you guys to start and come in you know see if you really want to become a developer like the way how i teach it it's going to keep you engaged at the same time I do it in a fun way creating real projects that you can use for your portfolio real projects that simulate what happens in in real life at a job and yeah and like if you feel like hey I don't like this this is not what I want to do that's it you cancel it pretty much what do you spend ten dollars to realize hey this is not for you now if this is for you you're gonna continue with the subscription because there's a lot of things that you're going to learn through this whole website like I'm telling you guys man I, I, I to be honest with you guys I'm like I don't even know what more to say like if I had this opportunity to learn this and this is actually so much better deal than all the things that I, I I did before like even when Udemy like I bought a lot of courses guys like over my lifetime I've bought a lot of courses on Udemy and I don't regret it because I learned a lot you know what I mean but this is such a good deal, man. For literally $10, the price of one Udemy course, you're getting over 20 courses. And every single day, I add more videos, more courses, more projects to each topic. So even the Learn HTML, CSS, more videos got added to it. Uh, the Laravel course, more videos are being added to it right now. So once you learn PHP, you learn how to do things by yourself. Now you learn the the framework and after learning the framework then from there you continue creating projects to reinforce it and not just be like oh yeah you learned the framework because you follow along uh, a tutorial as if it was Netflix and then once you're done with it you're like oh I don't know what to do now nah, we continue building projects so you could get better and better and better because this is not something that you're gonna become a developer from one day to another guys this is a process you gotta give yourself at least six months to be really good you know one month to learn the syntax of any uh, web programming language that you want right and then from there you're gonna give yourself time to build projects and, and build things that is gonna make you a more better developer yeah you could get a job as soon as possible right you could probably get a job once you finish a, a, a few of my courses and I'm, that's being honest you could literally get a job after that but to be a really good uh, developer programmer whatever you want to call yourself engineer you have to put in the time like this is something this is a lifetime's work you know what i mean 
So it's like you could get a job as a junior developer and get hired. You know, somebody's going to give you the opportunity because you look like somebody who has good projects on your portfolio and you know what you're doing. But at the same time, you have to understand to become really good, it's going to take you some time. This is not something that once you're hired doesn't mean that you're good. It just means you got hired and they're giving you the opportunity. You're going to get even better at work. But at the same time, you have to come back home and do other projects, not just the one from work. I know it seems crazy. Like, man, even after I get hired, I got to still study. I st still got to build projects. Yes, that's just how the world works. You know, unless you want to get stuck in the same job forever and get paid the same, uh, you know, minimum amount that you could get for a junior developer. That's fine. If you you happy there, that's fine. You don't have to study. You don't have to learn anything beyond whatever that job has for you. But if you say, hey, man, right now I got hired for this job at $45,000, $50,000. Next year, I want to get $75,000. Well, this whole year while you're working, you have to be here on this website or on Udemy or wherever you decide. It's your choice. You have to decide to continue learning to basically get better as a developer. So the next level and the next time that you get hired at another company is going to be a higher pay. All right, guys. So, yeah, man, check out the website, codingphase.com. You can find me also on udemy.com. Check me out, man. All right. I'll see you guys later, man. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a good idea to uh, for people to create uh, YouTube channels and share their, their knowledge and also to share their skills as they continue to learn? All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.